Glasswares and equipments used in microbiology laboratory. First, we have the glasswares. Under the glasswares, we have test tubes, fermentation tubes, petri dishes, flasks, pipettes, and other glasswares such as beaker, graduated cylinder, slides, watch glass end, etc. Under the test tube, we have three types. We have plain types test tubes. We usually use 10 by 75, 13 by 100, and 16 by 150. Also under the test tube, we have screw cup tubes and centrifuge tube. For the fermentation tubes, we usually use Smith fermentation tube and Durham fermentation tube. Under the Petri dishes, we use the plain and with divisions. Petri dishes varies in size. We have small and big. We also have glass and plastic. For the flask, we have Erlenmeyer's and volumetric flask. For the pipettes, we use serologic pipettes, volumetric pipettes, automatic pipettes, and disposable pipettes. We also have other equipments. We have inoculating loop and needle. We have racks. We have staining racks and slant racks. We also use Bunsen burner, tripod and wargas. We also use weighing balance and spatula. And also, most importantly use is the inoculating hood. Let's move on to the test tubes. So the size that we use in the microbiology laboratory varies. So we use 10 by 75, 13 by 100, and 16 by 150. Description Common piece of glassware consisting of a finger-like length, so kasing haba ng daliri natin, usually made of glass or clear plastic tubing, open at the top, nakabukas sa top, and usually with a rounded U-shaped bottom. Paletter U yung kanyang bottom. Function, used as container of some culture media. Madalas siya ginagamit sa biochemical testing ng bacteria. For example, sa imbic test, sa urease test. Also used to hold some reagents and specimens. So, pinaglalagyan din natin siya ng mga reagents and specimens. These are the test tubes. So, how can we know the size? Just measure its diameter and length if we need to draw the actual size of a test tube. Next, we move on to the screw cup tube description. These are like test tube but with screw cups for leak tight seal. Functions, used as a culture media holder and also used for storage and transport. Next, we have the centrifuge tube. Description are tapered tubes of various sizes made of glass or plastic. Functions used to contain liquids during centrifugation. So what is centrifugation? Centrifugation separates the sample into its components by rapidly rotating it around a fixed axis. Next is Smith fermentation tube. Description, tube has a closed vertical arm which extends into a bulbous portion with tapered opening. Function, used to verify gas production in fermentation exercises. Also used in observing an organism doing an aerobic fermentation. Next is the Durham fermentation tube. Description, these are simply smaller test tubes inserted upside down in another test tube. As you can see in the picture, there is a screw cup tube and inside it is the Durham tube. Functions to help identify the production of gas. So once nagamit ko na to sa water analysis na namin during my intern time. We move on to Petri dish. Description is a shallow transparent leaded dish named after its inventor, 
German bacteriologist Julius Richard Petri. Function, it is used to make agar plates for microbiology studies and also used to cultivate microorganisms such as bacteria, yeast, and molds. Volumetric glassware. Glassware inscribed with markings to make measuring the volume of liquid easier. Examples, beaker or linear's flask, volumetric flask, graduated cylinder, and pipette. Erlenmeyer's flask. Description, flask which features a flat bottom, a conical body, and a cylindrical neck. Named after the German chemist Emil Erlenmeyer. Functions. Tapered slides and narrow neck allow the contents of the flask to be mixed by swirling without the risk of spilling. Used in the preparation of agar. Volumetric flask description The neck of this flask is elongated and narrow with an etch ring graduation marking. The marking indicates the volume of liquid contained when filled up to that point. So this is used for measuring accurate volumes of liquid. Used for precise dilutions and preparation of standard solutions. It has different sizes and we will fill up up to the etch ring part only. Next, we move on to pipettes. We have serologic and volumetric. For the serologic, we use it to dispense varying volume of liquid. It is calibrated all the way to the tip and the last draft of the solution has to be blown out. While the volumetric pipette is used to dispense one volume of liquid only. It delivers a certain volume of solution through drainage. So meaning we don't need to blow it out. Next, we have beakers. Description, generally cylindrical in shape with a flat bottom. Also have a spout or beak for pouring. This spout or beak function for easier transferring of the liquid. Functions, used to hold solutions and it is used for heating liquid and for preparing reagent solutions. We move on now to graduated cylinder. Description. A tall narrow container with a volume scale. It is a long cylindrical tube usually held upright by an octagonal or circular base. Has calibration marks along its length. Function used to measure different volume of liquid. We usually use it for preparing agar and also for making dilutions. Funnel Description, a tube or pipe that is wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. Functions, used to guide and transfer liquids from large container to smaller containers. So usually, you will encounter this in your chemistry during the filtration processes. Watch glass description is a circular, slightly concave piece of glass. Function is used to evaporate liquids, is also used to hold solids while being weighed, also used to cover beakers during some preparations. Next, we have the slide. Description, it is a thin flat rectangular piece of glass. It functions as a platform for microscopic specimen observation. It is used to hold objects for examination. Inoculating loop or what we call as a smear loop. Description. It is a tool usually made of nichrome or platinum wire in which the tip forms a small loop with a diameter of 5 mm. Function It is used in the cultivation of microbes on plates by transferring inoculum for streaking. It is also used to pick up and transfer small sample or inoculum from a culture.
inoculating needle or wire, description, a tool usually made of nichrome or platinum wire, consists of a handle and a terminal needle. It is the same with the inoculating loop but the terminal end is needle. Staining rack Function, it is where the smear is being held, usually in an upright position to drain off excess water and for the smear to dry. This is what we usually use in microbiology and the other one we use it in histopathology. Bunsen burner, description, a laboratory equipment that produces a single open gas flame, named after Robert Bunsen. Function, used for heating, sterilization, and combustion. In microbiology laboratory, we usually use it in sterilizing our inoculating needle and inoculating loop. We also use it for the heat fixation of the specimen into the slide. Tripod description, a portable three-legged frame usually made of steel. Function, used for supporting the weight and maintaining stability of some other objects. Vargas description, a sheet of thin metal that has net-like patterns. Function, used as a support for heating along with the tripod. Vargos is mainly used as a support for different containers when they are placed across a tripod above the Bunsen burner. Also, they function to spread the heat of our Bunsen burner. Weighing scale is a measuring instrument for determining the weight or mass of an object. In microbiology, we use it in weighing culture media during agar preparation. Patula used to take and handle small quantities of solid chemicals. Serves as a spoon and can also be used to scrape away chemical residues in the glasswares. Water bath contains water and rock inside for incubation. So here, if we need a certain temperature, we can control the temperature of the water but then in the incubator so it is maintained at 25 to 37 degrees celsius refrigerator are used to cool samples for preservation or storage Temperature is maintained at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Working in the laboratory, it is always the first time that I will do to record the temperature of the refrigerator. Hot plate used to heat some solutions and specimen without any exposed flame. So we use it in agar preparation and also in drying the slides that containing our specimen for gram staining. Incubator, the standard temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. It is used to grow and maintain microbiological cultures. It is an insulated and enclosed device that provides optimal condition of temperature humidity, and other environmental conditions, which is required for the growth of our microorganisms. Kumbaga, ito yung bahay na pagtitirahan ng ating mga bacteria. Autoclave is used to sterilize laboratory equipment by using high temperatures which is 121 degrees Celsius 
and pressure to produce steam. So we use it in agar preparation also and also in some of the laboratory equipment such as the glass petri dish, the Erlenmeyer's flask. An aerobic jar used for the incubation of specimens that requires an aerobic atmosphere. So an aerobic atmosphere meaning yung mga bacteria na ito is namamatay in the presence of oxygen. It is used to culture bacteria which die or fail to grow in presence of oxygen or they are also called as anaerobes. Inoculating hood is used to create bacteria fungal free atmosphere in the chamber with ultraviolet germicidal light. So meaning it is to avoid the contamination. Two holes for two hands are provided and it also has viewing glass. Para makita natin while we are inoculating inside. So main purpose is to avoid contamination. Vortex mixer used for mixing liquids kept in a test tube. It is also used to mix culture media. Colony counter is used for counting microbial colony. Microscope is an optical instrument that is used for viewing tiny objects. These tiny objects are the small objects that are too small to be seen by our naked eye. Biological safety cabinet is used to protect personnel against biohazardous or infectious agents and to help maintain quality control of the material being worked with as it filters both the inflow and exhaust air. So, tip ko lang is familiarize niyo yung sarili niyo dun sa mga picture. Kasi, even na uh, makalimutan mo kung ano yung use ng equipment na yon. if alam mo yung kung ano yung itsura niya, magkakaroon ka ng idea kung para saan yung ginagamit example the Erlen Mayor Flash and the test tube kung alam mo yung itsura ng Erlen Mayor Flash, meron yung mga markings and if alam mo naman yung itsura ng test tube, wala siyang markings so, meaning kung may markings yung Erlen Mayor Flash it is used for measuring liquids while yung test tube naman na walang marking it is only used to hold some specimens ganun